honestly, you guys, I'm very scared. I'm I'm very, very afraid for, you know, for for that man because this is this is now like I'm I'm realizing this is obsession. This is like obsessive. The girl needs like um Denise Brown, you wrote what fools do for love. No no baby, that's not love. And I'm very I'm being very very serious. You know, I be kikiing and all that type of stuff, but this, I'm being very serious from a from a woman and from a woman's perspective that's been damaged before and trauma filled before and the healing process. I can honestly personally say I've never seen or been in this in this predicament before to this capacity where this 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 woman is I'm very 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 afraid of what this girl might do to herself or him or whoever if he leaves her because she is very she's she I don't know what happened to her in her childhood I don't know what happened but this girl is obsessed this is obsessive behavior her whole world, if you notice, is this is this dude, okay? She brings him everywhere from day one, okay? Trapped him with a baby, okay? Where are her friends? Where are her friends? No friends. You don't see nobody, all Clarence's friends, but you don't, where, where are her girlfriends? What girl, like, where are the girls that's coming over to, you know, like, where, to hang out? Where are her friends? He's her friend. You know, um, she excluded and has discarded all her family for this dude. Allowed this man to disrespect her mother and jump in her and jump in his face, and jump in her face. Um, and she's now listing him or allowing him to be listed as creative director. This is very scary. Very very scary. This is like a fatal attraction, to be honest. The only difference between the only difference is that this person, Clarence, is consenting to be the object or the victim because of his own selfish purposes. But you know, he needs to be careful. Girls like these, you don't play with. She is very much so not right. I promise y'all, like. We all have issues, but this right here is not normal. You cannot, her whole world is this dude, okay? She don't have no friends, discarded her whole family, endured multiple, all types of disrespect, you know, gave, used everything she could financially and everything she could, you know, just to keep him, giving him things that he doesn't deserve, credits letting him meddle into her business her business life this girl is willing to do anything to keep a man this man in her this boy in her life she is this is exactly why he ain't going nowhere eventually he will because you could only fake for so long but i'm afraid of what might happen if he do what is she gonna do all of this that she's doing, really think about it, y'all, that this is obsessive behavior. What is she going to do to herself if Clarence were to leave her today? What is she going to do? All of this, everything that she's doing right now, okay, if they turn, if they spicy mafia and all of them turn their back on her today, I'm very, very nervous and I'm very afraid on my mama. Real story, true story. I'm very afraid for her and him. That this is this right here is not normal at all. She needs serious help. Like Chris saved himself because now I understand why he don't. I understand it. I get it. Like she has problems. She has issues like I could only imagine because she's very, very codependent and very clingy. And I'm not talking about like, you know, girls, we, we can be codependent sometimes. But, you know, you learn how to be independent. No, she is excessive. She's overly she's excessively she's overbearing. She's it's like she's the type like she gives me vibes like. If Clarence were to leave her, God forbid like she might like do something like she might try to do something stupid to be honest because the way that she acts and the way that she moves is not normal it's not 
it's a very scary thing and it really makes me nervous because he he can't leave her I, i'd be like oh yeah he gonna leave her yeah because it's fake but nah what is the consequence what is the consequence of him leaving people snap people do things um google jody arias say say less google jody arias and who she is and you'll you'll understand what i'm talking about and i'm gonna leave it at that google jody jody arias and what happened and wow i just you know it's like i'm a deep thinker and i know that i've been through a lot that's why i could i could easily recognize somebody with issues but i've never been on this level of issues y'all i promise you i I've had I had a, I've always had a measure of self-esteem and self-worth. This girl puts her whole self-esteem and self-worth and her whole identity into a man. She doesn't have an identity. Her whole identity is Clarence. She doesn't know who she is, where she's going, where to go. Everything is Clarence. That is why he's lasted so long because she does whatever he tells her to do. Whatever he tells her to do, she does it. This this dude could tell her anything and she will do it. And that is so, so, so sad. That's so sad. That's so sad. For for somebody, I don't know what happened to her when and it's like you, you know, you didn't have a father in your life. A lot of us didn't, but this is not normal. Cause I don't act like this. And I didn't have a father in my life. Many people didn't. Hell, I've been abused. I don't act like this. I always had a measure of self-respect and a measure of dignity. She has no type of like and nothing in her mind clicks like, you know what? I need to say no. I need to have some type of self-respect. There's boundaries. She has no boundaries for people. People can just do whatever to her. And people do people can do whatever to her. And that's why the spicy mafia, you see how they treat her? You see how you see how this this dude said she's not sweet heat and they were laughing and saying oh they'll you know um i would only sleep with her on a drunk night anybody like you and me who saw that would have been offended and would have never spoke to him this girl today has a record with my the god and my the god was the one who was like really really laughing and he was the one that was a part of the whole um conversation about sleeping with her just on a drunk night basically calling her unattractive and today she has a record with him where is your self-respect where is your self-worth where is your com- where is your brain why are you with a dude that disrespects you from day one and says he's not attracted to you why are you with or why are you around people who make it clear that they don't like you? They they pretty much are playing you. They pretty much like you're a joke to them. They 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 pretty much violated you and said that basically they would sleep with you on a drunk night. Highly disrespectful. And you and you make a record with this dude. You 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 got him on Capitol Records like the listing of collaborations. You got him on Capitol Records website. You put him on the same dude that said that he would sleep with you only on a drunk night. Do you see what I'm talking about? That this something's not right. Then you have this. <laughs> You have a dude jumping all in your mother's face. You discard your own mother. I have not seen her mother at her house ever. But you let his mother come to the house all the time. You let this dude blankly exclude and disrespect your child. Girl, I, I, I really, I'm honestly, she needs serious help. She needs serious help. She needs to go and talk to somebody and figure out what happened to her in her childhood. What happened to make her be like this? Because this is not normal. This is not, it's sad. It's sad. It's like, what else, like she lets people do anything to her. Like people could do whatever to her and it doesn't matter. You could say whatever to her and it doesn't matter. Clarence could spit in her face and she would probably like swallow it. Like this girl has no type of self-esteem, like nothing, zero, like none, none. And that's crazy to me because as a woman, like, and you want a daughter? Oh my God, please Jehovah never give this girl a daughter. Because how the hell could you have a daughter and you don't even love yourself? Chris used to always say that you don't love yourself. Chris used to always say that about her. And I see it. I see what he's talking about. Could you imagine with the things that Chris had? 
you know what? Shout out to Chris. You a real one. You were married to that girl and you put up with that for how long? Since he was 17, you put up with that? You a real one. Because, honey, that right there would have drove me crazy. If I was a dude, I would have been drove. I would have been driven out of my mind if I had to stay with somebody like this. It's 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 really honestly, honestly, like I think therapy and counseling can benefit everyone. I've done it. Many people have done it. But I mean, this girl, she's not taking advantage of the fact that she has money and she can really go and talk to someone and uproot some things within her that make her treat herself the way that she does, because basically she treats herself like a like garbage. She treats herself like she's nothing. She lets people treat her like she's nothing. She lets people disrespect her. How you how you how you put on a how you continue messing with a dude that gets on camera and and drop hints that you're that that things that are very sensitive sensitive to women. How you how you how you fix yourself to still be with a dude that does that? How you look at your Father's Day video and you see this dude, his facial expressions, his vibes. You get the energy that he's not into you. He's disrespecting you in your face blatantly. How do you fix yourself to really really? Like, still be there and fund him and take care of him and his whole family. For what? Because you don't love yourself. And that's so sad. Like, I I really honestly feel bad. I feel bad for this girl. And it's like, yo, that's why I said, if you don't love yourself, when your whole identity leaves, which is Clarence, because she's made him everything to her, I'm afraid what the hell is she going to do? Okay, what is she going to do? I hope that he don't do her like bad, bad. I hope that if he gonna leave her, I hope he does it with respect. I hope he don't violate her because I, I really, I really don't want this girl to like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you get, you get my drift, like, because she got problems, real, real life. She has problems. I can see it. She has big problems. That girl don't love herself at all. You know how people be like you don't love yourself, but it's like you got a little self love because you 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 know you you not you not gonna allow certain things. Nah, this girl truly has her self esteem is at is where our dead relatives are, and 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 two more feet under that eight feet. Like she has no type of identity or self love to be able to stand up for herself and boss up. And say, hey, I'm Queen Nyjah. I'm this, I'm that. No, this boy can't treat me like this. Who do, who does he think he is? I put you on. You know, have a seat. Like, she don't have the guts, the self-esteem, or the brain to even do that. That's why I said, this girl needs to go talk to somebody. Therapy benefits everybody. She needs help fast, okay? And like I said, I don't know what the hell she gonna do when Clarence leave her. But I'm very afraid because if she acting like this, this obsessive behavior, if she's acting like this, I don't know. It's either snap, Google Jody Arias, or something else that we don't want to happen. So like, and she already mentioned that that something else already when that when that when Clarence made those pedophile comments, she had a, she had said, "I feel like doing this, that, and the third already thinking like that so if that man leave her what is she going to do that's what i'm afraid of what the hell is she gonna do you know what i'm saying like i'm not even playing like this is really really serious like y'all gotta i mean i don't know what happened to her but baby baby you need to go to therapy you need help you need help and you need help honey like fast fast because this is not no this is not normal just notice look 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 around her who is her whole life clarence where are her friends she has none who is her family clarence's family her whole identity is this dude that is not normal that is not healthy that's why i said she needs to go and talk to someone to uproot whatever and 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 really really build herself up so she could love herself because shorty don't love herself she needs to go sit and talk to someone and build her self-esteem up and build it to the point of self-love because she has none and 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 i would love for her to have some because because that's why she's ridiculed all the time for her decisions because her decisions are influenced by the fact that she don't love herself chris didn't lie she don't love herself
And it's sad. It's really, really, really sad. You know what I mean? Because I'm a woman at the end of the day. And looking at that, that's that's not nothing like that's that's nothing to even that's nothing to play about joke about it's it's really sad and I, I really really think that she needs to really really like I hope she if she don't come across no video she needs to come across this one baby you need help you 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 need help and I hope she doesn't have pride and act like she don't but you do because you out here like you out here wilding this this this, this don't make no sense I've never seen such a thing in my life but anywho, guys, um, and I was gonna make like a video about like you know I hadn't made I hadn't made another video, but I just kind of like canceled that out and decided to do this because y'all, enough is enough. Like little girls out there, all of y'all have self love, and if you feel like you're not right because of certain childhood issues or things in your life that happen, go to therapy and build yourself up. Do not be out here looking like how this girl is looking or don't treat yourself like any kind of way you feel me it's it's a sad thing but comment down below and tell me what you think but yeah mm -mm. yeah it's, it's not right like something's not right that she's something's wrong like it that's obsessive that's obsessive behavior that's not normal like what